Welcome to Excel Magic Trick number 675. Hey, if you want to download this workbook and follow along, click on my YouTube channel, then click on my college website link, and you can download the workbook Excel Magic Trick 673 to 682. Wow, we have a great one here. Our goal is to add data validation to this cell so that when we add, add a new item here, say pants, over here is a table, $100 to $200 is the range of values we are allowed to pay. So if someone goes and enters a 300 here, we want it to pop up and say invalid amount. But the deal is, we want it to change. No matter if it says t-shirts here, it's got to adhere to these data validation rules, 50 to 100. So if I type in 75 here, it will work. But if I change this to... By the way, if you in data validation, if you have a 75 in the cell before the data validation is uh, added, so pants, right? 100 to 200 should uh, should be that what's allowed there. But the fact that it was there before we we changed this, uh, it, it'll let it in there. If you actually ran data, data tools, data validation, circle invalid data, then it would circle it. But what we want to do is try and enter it by hand. I'm going to delete. And then how do I get rid of the circle? I take the eraser and I go up to data, data tools, data validation clear. But right now we've selected pants. So now when I type in 75, it should not be allowed. All right, so let's go see how to do this over here. Really, it's going to involve doing um, data validation custom on this. Well, first we're going to do a data validation list. Then we're going to do data validation custom with the true-false formula. And the true-false formula, we'll do it over here first to see how it works. And it will be based on two VLOOKUPs. Let's first highlight this column. The keyboard shortcut for data validation is Alt-DL, Alt-DL. And then we select list. Hey, what do we allow? Something from a list. There's the source. I'm going to highlight that. Click OK. Now I can select whatever I want over here. Now again, this is not a lookup situation from here. We are entering data. And currently, we want to limit what goes into this cell in accordance with that. Let's go ahead and see how to build a true-false formula. Because we're going to do data validation custom, which just means behind the scenes in the dialog box, there will be a true-false formula. Equals. And we have two things. If we were going to do this uh, manually in some sense, we'd say use the AND function. The AND function is great because we can have two logical tests. And really what we do is we say this value right here has to be greater than or equal to. Now this is a t-shirt, right? So we'd say 50. I'll even type it in here just to explicitly. That's the first limit. The second limit is that cell reference right there has to be less than or equal to the upper limit, the 100. But again, this formula has to change because we never know what's going to go in that cell right there. All right, if, you, if we understand this, that's true, right? If I change this to, notice that the uh, lower amount is 50. So if I change this to 25, we get a false there. That would trigger, once we put a 25 in the cell, it would trigger a false in the dialog box behind the scenes. And then a pop-up message would say, you can't put that in there. No problem. The next step is we need to change this 50 to a VLOOKUP. VLOOKUP, all it will do is it will take the t-shirt, find it here. And for the lower, we'll have to say column 2. And for the upper, we'll have to say column 3. 1, 2, 3. So we'll try this here. 50, VLOOKUP. Lookup value, I'm looking up t-shirt, comma. the table array is this, the whole thing, including the first column with the words and the things we want to return in column 2 and 3. F4 to lock it, comma. Now, the lower amount for greater than or equal to is the second column, so I'm just going to type a 2. Now, we have words, and they're not sorted in alphabetical order, so we have to column index is 2, comma. The range lookup is going to be false, exact match, or 0. Now, I'm going to copy this because I'm not a good type or copy. Really, it's just going to be two of the same thing, except for, for the lower end, it's two. And for the upper end, it's going to be three. 
This gives us a true false. VLOOKUP is delivering the two numbers. They're both being compared to B2 with different comparative operators. And then the AND will say true when both are true. So I drag this down. We can see in the cells. You don't really want to put this in the cells, but when you're learning how to do this, very helpful. That NA will have no effect behind the scenes. So we come up to the first cell, select this. And now, how you highlight your cells matters when you're doing data validation and conditional formatting. If I had gone like this, then I'd better scoop this, the formula from here and paste it. But I'm going to go like this. Active cell is the same from the cell that I copied right there. Data validation, Alt D L. What do we want to allow? Custom. This allows us to do a true false formula. Formula, Control V. Uh, um, error alert. You could put an input message if you want, but error alert. And you know, you could have fun with this. You could put whatever you want. Um, I'm just going to put please enter correct amount. When you do this yourself for you, whatever. Oh, I wish I could type. Obviously, you could put a more a helpful message there, but we'll get the we'll get the idea here. Now I'm going to come over here. I've selected T-shirt, so now I'm going to have to I'm try to put uh, 500 in. Sure enough, it says uh, no way. Retry. Now I'm going to click Escape, and I'm going to select uh, bag. And now when I put 500 here, no problem. It works because bag has an upper limit of 500. All right, uh, we'll see you next trick.